What's up my fellow horror comrades, I'm the Slasher Movie Review and I haven't done one of these videos in a while. So if you newcomers out there, what this is, is I basically break down some of the news that's been circling around in the horror universe and I not only inform you about it, but I also put my two cents in on the topics as well. So without further ado, let's get on into this. <laughs> Our first bit of news is that Emma Roberts has now officially joined the cast of American Horror Story Coven. I, for one, have been a huge fan of what they've done with the first two previous installments. This sort of Twilight Zone-esque sort of thing that they're doing. I love it. Um, Emma Roberts will be joining newcomers like the names I'm about to butcher. Kathy Bates, Angela Bassett, Patty LuPond, and Gabrielle Sidibe. That sounded like gibberish. Old cast members like Jessica Lange, Sarah Paulson, Lily Rabe, Francis Conroy, Evan Peters, and Tasa Formiga will all be returning as well for this third season. I absolutely love this show and I have no issue with Emma Roberts. She was fine in Scream 4 for me. And she's done some really good films. I think she's a fine actress. So, you know what? Sign me on up. Looks like we won't be seeing a Scream 5 for any time soon because MTV has just officially ordered that a pilot to be done for Scream the TV series. Wes Craven may possibly direct, of course, if the script is good. I would rather wait 10 years for Scream 5 then have this TV series because it will get old, it will get old fast, what, MTV will water this bad boy down, this just cannot happen. If Wes Craven directs this, why Wes? Why? This is a fail. This is no, no, no. We also have a release date for Spike Lee's remake of Old Boy. It will be going against Paranormal Activity 5 on October 25th. Leprechaun is getting remade, and it's already found its director. It's going to be directed by Zach Lipusky. I'm going to go with that. Zach Lipusky. Uh, the film will be entitled Leprechaun <laughs> Origins. Zach has previously directed nothing, but he did star on a reality TV show called On the Air, where 16 contestants fight for a development deal with DreamWorks. So, I don't know if this is his development deal or not. But yeah, and uh, the wrestler Hornswoggle will be playing our Leprechaun. Uh, yeah, I think this is gonna fail. Speaking of remakes, Sam Raimi is producing the remake to Poltergeist with the director of Monster House, and I cannot think of that director's name, but it's probably a good thing because I'll probably butchered it. News has just broken out that this is not going to be so-called a remake or a reboot. It's going to be more of a sequel. So that's actually really exciting to know that this film is getting somewhat of an Evil Dead treatment. Should Poltergeist be remade? No, 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 no. But this is a hard genre. Sequels and remakes, they just happen. You just have to sit back and chug it. I'm slightly intrigued by this bit of news. Y'all know I'm a huge Sam Raimi fan. So, count me in-ish. My last bit of news for you guys today is regarding the Evil Dead crossover madness. As you all know, the Evil Dead remake did a good, so Fat Alvarez is moving forward with the sequel to Evil Dead. But, here's where things get even more interesting. Sam Raimi has also announced that he and his brother, over the summer, will be writing the script for Evil Dead 4 slash Army of Darkness 2. And Bruce Campbell is, has supposedly agreed to star. Then, it gets... This is when it gets even more crazy, you guys, and I and I start to have a panic attack of how awesome this sounds. Then, Fed Alvarez's Evil Dead films and Sam Raimi's Evil Dead films will collide for an epic Evil Dead finale where possibly Mia and Ash team up. This is beautiful. This needs to happen. Just think about it. Mia and Ash. Mia and Ash. Together, on the big screen, this would be the epic showdown. Epic! This would be epic. Don't tell me this is a possibility, and then don't do it. You have to do this. You just, you gotta do this! You got to do this! This also seems really, really possible that could happen if you read about the alternate ending for the Evil Dead remake. This just makes this all the more possible. Also, the Evil Dead remake is hitting Blu-ray on July 16th. 
which is right near my birthday. So, early birthday present for Slasher Movie Reviews. So excited. Uh, so, make sure you get your copy as well. But there you have it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on some of these news that have been circling out and about. Um, so, until next time, you guys, I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you guys, just been slashed.